I don't know what you believe about signs and wonders. I'm mean, not here to discuss theology with you. But so many Muslims are seeing Jesus. They have visions, dreams, and miracles, and they report it to us. It looks like Jesus these days has a special grace for them. He's appearing to them, calling Muslims to himself. I can go on and on and share so many stories for hours with you, and I have done some of that with you. But there is one story I remember. This story sums all up. It just puts it all together. I had a live program, and this man called, and he talked about how Jesus has healed him. I'm trying to, let me, let me just try to imitate him, okay? Because he was not excited, and I was. This is what he said. Pastor Hormos, three months ago, I had a liver problem. I called you, you prayed for me, and Jesus healed my liver. My doctor said, you don't need any operation. You don't even need medicine. There I was excited to say, oh, praise the Lord, praise God, Jesus heals, Jesus heals. But he was not excited. He continued. Then I started praying for others. I had a friend who had cancer. I prayed for his cancer. His cancer was healed. Oh, hallelujah, I was excited. He was not, oh, praise the Lord, Jesus heals cancer. Then he said, then I had a family member she had a tumor in her brain. I prayed for her tumor, and her tumor was healed. Oh, hallelujah, praise God, Jesus heals tumors. After a few minutes of this, he giving testimony with no emotions, monotone voice, and I was excited. He got frustrated with me. This is what he said. Pastor Hormos, why are you so excited? Have you read your Bible? Oh my gosh. It was like a shock to me. He is right. He is right. It's in the Bible. Folks, when Iranians, Muslims come to Christ, they believe what they read in the Bible, and they expect Jesus to be the healer. And that's why God is doing that. But healing signs and wonders are just a sign. When we talk about sign, sign is just a street sign. It just points to Jesus. They still need to hear the gospel. That's when you and uh, I come in. Jesus has done his part. He's died on the cross for them. He's appearing to them. But they still need to hear the gospel. Would you join us? Would you partner with us so we can take the gospel into the homes? Jesus will do the rest. Jesus will save them, will heal them. But we need to take the gospel to their homes. I appreciate those who are partnering with us. And I want to invite the rest of you. Would you join with us? Iran is ready for Christ. And when Iran is transformed, the whole Middle East will be impacted. Would you join us to make history? Would you join us to transform Iran and the Middle East with the power of the gospel? I appreciate you. Consider prayerfully to join us, to support us financially, because together we can change the Middle East. <music>